So today we're going to talk about op-amp circuits where we're going to use inductive components as the feedback mechanism. So we have some feedback inductor, some input inductor. Filter here, we have negative feedback because the output is connected to the inverting input, so that, that gives us the golden rule of the op-amp that the voltage here and the voltage here will have to be the same. And we're going to look at some interesting things we can do with this. So we can start by simply writing down that the gain of this circuit is just minus Z feedback over Z input. So same thing we had before with resistors, the feedback divided by the input with a minus sign. So there's the gain. And now what we'd like to do is we'd like to, let's just take Zn to be a capacitor and Z feedback to be a resistor. So we have a slightly modified circuit here. We have Vn coming in through a capacitor into the op amp. feedback through a resistor, and V out. So the gain is going to be R over 1 over J omega C. Just from that rule. Okay, so there's the feedback with the resistor capacitor, and that we can simply write as J omega R C. And change. And I have forgotten my minus sign, so we will put that in there. So now we get defining omega RC to be 1 over RC. The gain is just minus J omega over omega RC. And if we look at that, that may actually remind us of something we did when we had passive rather than active filters. And let me just remind you, if the input voltage is some V0 E to the J omega C, so some arbitrary complex voltage, then dV in dT is going to be J omega V in. So we just bring down the J omega excuse me, the, the J omega from the voltage, so J omega times Vn. And right here we see a factor of J omega floating around here. So what this tells us on this circuit is that V out is going to be J omega Vn times minus 1 over omega RC. Or V out is minus 1 over omega RC D, V, N, D, T. We have a filter here that differentiates the input voltage. So the output is proportional to the derivative of the input voltage. And that basically rises linearly. So if we look at that on a Bode plot, I'll put this here. frequency 20 dB log 10 of the gain. And before I put, before I draw this here, I want to remind us of one thing, that the op amp has an open loop gain. That is the maximum gain that the thing can put out, the, sort of the gain of the op amp. And we know that that looks something like it is, go, that open loop gain is some number here, and then it falls at 20 dB per decade. So that is the open loop gain of the amp, op amp. This here, if we look at it, basically rises with omega. So it's something that starts here somewhere and rises at 20 dB per decade. So this is the gain. And we know that the gain can never surpass the open loop gain. So what actually happens, there's some point up here when this is limited by the op amp. So 
in this region here, this frequency region from about here down to wherever, it differentiates, and then we're cut off by the performance of the op amp. So it's a nice differentiating circuit, but we have to be careful where that cutoff is there. But that's kind of a fun thing that we can do with, a, with an op amp circuit. Once we've done one of these, the obvious thing to do is to go back to this circuit that we have and reverse the capacitor and the resistor and see what happens. And given that this, this circuit differentiated, reversing them, you might very well expect, and you would be correct, that that is the opposite function it integrates. So let's just look at that briefly here. Reverse that circuit, so we'll come in with an input resistor. into the inverting input of the op amp. Ground the other one. We go through a capacitor. V out, V in, and the gain we know is going to be minus ZC over R, ratio of this impedance over that impedance. And we can work that out. That simply is going to be minus 1 over j omega c over r, which is minus 1 over j omega rc. And rc is 1 over the rc frequency, so the gain is going to be minus omega rc over j omega. And that 1 over j omega is the factor you would have expected from an integral. If vn of t is v0 e to the j omega t, then the integral of vn of t dt is going to be 1 over j omega vn of t. So this circuit here does the opposite, it integrates the circuit. It integrates the input voltage. So the output is the integral of the input voltage. And that falls off like 1 over omega. So when we look at a Bode plot of that, put this here. F. 20 dB log of gain. This is just something that falls off at 20 dB per decade. And presumably, that open loop gain that was giving us problems is out here with the same slope, and we never cross it. So this circuit integrates up to the highest frequencies. So we've basically been able to mimic the integral and differentiating circuit with technically no limit other than op-amp performance. <laughs>